Hello, Year 3. Make sure you have your paper and pencil ready for today's lesson. Um, in the previous video, we looked at finding a fraction of an amount. And today's learning objective is, can I understand and recognize tenths and represent them in different ways using words and fractions? So, what fraction does each box in this 10 frame represent? Explain why. Pause the video. Have a think. If you've got a teddy bear next to you, you could talk to your teddy bear. You could speak out loud or say it in your head. Have a think. What fraction does each box represent? And play the video when you're ready. Okay, so when we're looking at fractions, we need to know how many, we need to know what the whole is and how many equal parts represent the whole. So our whole is this 10 frame and how many equal parts represent the whole? 10 because it's a 10 frame. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So which number of my fraction is going to be 10? I'm just going to draw my fraction line. Is my numerator going to be 10 or my denominator? Well, my denominator represents the number of parts that represent the whole. 10 parts represent the whole. So uh, my denominator is 10. And if we're talking about this box, this is one part of our whole. So one tenth. Same way if we were, we were talking about this box, this is also one part of our 10 frame. So one part of our whole, one tenth. So each of these boxes represent one tenth of the 10 frame. Okay. For this activity, I need you to have a paper, so a, a piece of paper or a strip of paper or just any normal A4 paper. If you don't have one, pause the video and go and get one. We're going to make a 10 frame together. Okay, so this is how you make a 10 frame. First, across the length of our rectangle, we're going to fold it over. You need to make sure that your corners are on each other before you fold it over. So fold your paper into half lengthways. And then what we want to do is start folding from one side and we're going to fold over four times. So I'm going to just do one little section and then all the other sections that I fold are going to be the same size as this to make sure that they're equal. So this is one. I'm going to take this part and fold it over so I make sure that they're equal. That's two. And that's three. And then a fourth time. And if you look over here, you might see that you have an extra bit of paper sticking out. We need to get rid of that, otherwise our last section is not going to be equal um, to all the rest. So make sure you've got a pair of scissors that, you're, that an adult is happy for you to use. And if not, then make sure an adult is there when you're cutting your piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is just cut off this extra bit to make sure that all my parts are equal. I'm gonna make sure I don't I don't go over this part because I, I need this part. So I'm just going to cut off the extra bit of paper. And then if you open up your piece of paper, you'll see that you've got two sections with five on each side. Two, four, five, which gives us ten. And then you will need small things like little pieces of Lego, or if you, you, you can collect small rocks from your garden or from outside your house, you, you will need those to place over your 10 frames to show these fractions. So can you pause the video, go and find whatever you need and come and um, show by placing them on top of your 10 frame, show me two tenths, eight tenths, and then read the rest and have a go at showing me those when you're ready. You can play the video again and we'll go through them together. Okay, 
So it says, make a 10 frame, which we have, and use something you have at home, for example, Lego, to cover it, to show two tenths. We already know it's a 10 frame because my denominator shows that the whole is divided into 10 equal parts. How many parts of it do I need to consider? Two. One. Two. So that shows me two tenths because two parts of the whole are covered, are shaded, are considered. Okay, next one. Eight tenths. Even though this is written in words, it still represents a fraction. Eight tenths. How many parts of my whole do I need to consider? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that represents eight tenths. Okay. The next one, you need to have a think. Two tenths less than eight tenths. Which one do you think we need to start from? It says two tenths less than eight tenths. So which one do we need to start from? So we need to start from the bigger number, eight tenths, and then we need to subtract two tenths or take away two tenths. So let's start with eight tenths. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It says two tenths less than eight tenths. I've got eight tenths here. What would be two tenths less? So I'm going to take away one tenth and then another tenth. I've taken away two tenths. So how much do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tenths. Similarly with the next one, five tenths more than three tenths. Which number do we need to start with? It says we need five tenths more than a number. So we need to find out what that number is first to then make it five more. So we need three tenths to then get five tenths more. One, two, three. Now we need five tenths more than three tenths. One, two, three, four, five. Now I've added my five tenths. Now we need to see how much we've got. Two, four, six, eight. We've ended up with eight tenths. Have a go now that I've shown you, we've gone through it together. Have a go at doing the next two by yourself. And play the video when you're ready. Okay, so here it says, this counting stick is worth one whole. Label each fraction that the stick shows. Can you label each fraction by counting up in tenths? So starting with one tenth. Play the video again when you're ready. So let's count together. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. Which, how many tenths make the whole? Which fraction represented the whole stick? Well, when we got all the way to the end, we had counted through the whole stick. So we got to 10 tenths. So 10 tenths, if you remember the numerator and the denominator are equal, so it represents a whole fraction. When I am writing tenths, the something is always 10. When I'm writing tenths, does your numerator become 10 or your denominator? Well, a whole is divided into 10 equal parts. So my denominator is going to represent, is going to be 10. 
and I have written the tense here as you should have on your piece of paper. Okay. And as we can see, the denominators are all 10 because they all represent the same whole that's been divided into 10 equal parts. Okay, so this is your independent activity. Make sure you upload all your work to Tapestry. Share it with us on Facebook and on Instagram if you would like to. Go over the video if you can't remember any of the methods. And well done for doing all your work at home. Bye, year three.